हेलो स्टूडेंट्स इन दिस वीडियो लेक्चर क्लास वी विल डिस्कस ट्रांजिएंट एनालिसिस दिस इज द पोर्शन प्रेजेंट इन बोथ थर्ड सेमेस्टर इलेक्ट्रिकल इंजीनियरिंग स्टूडेंट्स एंड थर्ड सेमेस्टर ईटीसी स्टूडेंट्स सो लेट अस स्टार्ट द इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ ट्रांजिएंट एनालिसिस इट मींस in a electrical network may consist of energy storing element like inductor capacitor so due to change in excitation the voltage and current may change from one state to another state and the change takes place during that time period is called as transient time and the response of during this time period is called as transient response let us first discuss the transient response of rl series circuit rl series circuit when dc is dc excitation is given to the rl circuit then what is the response of output we will see in this study let us take a resistor and an inductor connected in series r and l across a dc source of supply through a switch this is a switch having the voltage of dc source is v suppose at time t switch is closed and so that the current i is flowing through the circuit according to kipchoff's voltage law the total voltage in this circuit the voltage equation of this circuit is ri plus l di by dt is equal to v supply voltage is equal to voltage across the inductor plus resistor now i may write this equation as di by dt plus r by l i is equal to v by l take it as equation number 1 it represents this equation number 1 represents a linear differential equation is in the form of non homogeneous equation is in the form of non homogeneous equation what is the form of non homogeneous equation it is dx by dt plus px plus that is equal to k where k is the constant and x is the output who which solution we have to find so in equation number 1 here v by l is the constant p is r by l and i is the output which one we have to find out so this is the form of non homogeneous equation it has a two solution one is called as complementary solution it has two solution x is equal to e to the power minus pt integration over k e to the power plus pt dt plus c e to the power minus pt so it has two solution one is complementary solution and another is this one is the complementary solution also known as transient solution and this one the second one is the particular solution also known as steady state solution also known as steady state solution now i write for this circuit output is the current it is e to the power minus p is here r by l t integration k is v by l e to the power r by l t dt plus c e to the power minus r by l t this is the transient solution this is the steady state solution if you simplify this first term you get v by r and the second term we have to find this c is a constant 
how you find by taking the initial condition by taking the initial condition we find c the initial condition means at t equal to just during just during switching on the circuit means at time t equal to 0 at time t equal to 0 what happens see at time t equal to 0 we take the two initial condition just before switching and just after time period just before switching and time period just after switching just before switching current is current through the circuit is zero just before switching current through the circuit is zero and just after switching as you know that the inductors the inductance it has a property to opposes any change in direction or magnitude of current so that the current flowing through this inductor is zero also through the circuit is zero so current flowing through the circuit just after switching and just before switching is zero so take it as equation number two this one is equation number two so from by taking the initial condition we get at time t equal to zero this current is zero and why we proceed for the initial condition forget this constant c it is v by r plus c e to the power t value is zero so e to the power zero any e to the power zero is one so the equation is become this is from equation number two so the value of c we get is minus v by r minus v by r now i put this value of c in this equation number two to get the current response or the output response which gives i is equal to v by r minus v by r e to the power minus r by l t now equation 3 equation 3 it equation 3 it represent the output response of rl series circuit when dc excitation is given v by r is the steady response and 1 minus this minus v by r e to the power minus r by l t is the it is the transient response now from equation 3 i draw the response trigger diagram in the x axis i take current t in the y axis i take current i v by r is the steady value it is a constant value and i is equal to v by r minus v by r e to the power minus r by l t where i take if v by r value common it is 1 minus e to the power minus r by l t okay this total it response is exponentially raising exponentially raising so where this OA portion is called as transient response and when the transient is dies out and the response reaches its final value it is called as steady state response it is called as steady state response okay so students from this equation from this second part of this output response you get the time response you get the time constant here this l if i reverse if i write this equation as if this part is also be written as t by l by r where this l by r is the time constant or we may write it is minus t by tau so l by r now i erase this portion students I have to remember this equation. I keep one this in square bracket. Now here the time constant it is represented as t or tau. It is the 
time required for the response time required for the response to reach its initial value to the final value it is represented by capital t if the time period for the operation the small t is equal to time constraint at that time the output reaches 63.2 percent of the final value here you just put the value of t time constraint if t is equal to 5 times of the time constraint then the output reaches 99 percent of its final value so here students it is clear that when time constraint is 5 times or more than 5 times of time constraint then your response it reaches 99 percent of its or more than 99 almost 100 percent of its final value the reciprocal of the reciprocal of time response is known as the reciprocal of time response is known as damping ratio damping ratio this is the time constraint now we see what is the voltage across resistor and inductor for that i erase this portion students voltage across resistor is i into r and voltage across inductor is l di by dt in this equation you just put the value of i put the value of i from equation number 3 okay from equation number 3 you put the value of i to get voltage across resistor and voltage across inductor voltage across resistor and voltage across inductor it gives and across inductor it is V similarly you find power across resistor and power developed by inductor that is I into VR and I into VL you multiply I with VR and VL which gives power cross resistor now students we see the discharging case of RL series circuit when DC excitation is switched off. This is the circuit diagram for discharging case of RL series circuit. Now I disconnect this. This is a switch. Now I disconnect the DC source and keep it in two position. So the current I even though the DC supply is in charges charging case what happen when transient dies out the current which one is flowing through the RL circuit is V by R this is the steady current just at time T equal to 0 I put this switch S into two position still even though the switch is closed the voltage supply through this circuit RL series circuit is not given it is thrown off then also the same current is flowing through this RL series circuit. Okay. So here what is the equation? The voltage first we write the voltage equation. It is Ri plus L di by dt is equal to 0. As no voltage supply is given it is 0. Or I may write this equation as di by dt plus R by L I equal to 0. This is a homogeneous equation. What is the form of homogeneous equation? It is dx by dt which one already I have discussed in the non-homogeneous part. In the non-homogeneous part there is a constant term but here it is 0. Okay, And it has only one solution that is particular function. So here this is the form of homogeneous equation. Now it has only one solution that is the steady state solution is of the form of in case of charging I take the constant is C let here I take it is C dash 
minus r by l t. Now, how you find the constant c dash? By take the initial condition. By take the initial condition. That means when switch is closed at the time period of zero second. So here, student, when I explain the diagram at that time, uh, I have explained that when switch is closed at a position two. then same steady current i is equal to v by r is flowing through the circuit so here at time equal to 0 t equal to 0 second the time this time is take it as equation number 1 for the discharging case so the current is v by r c e to c dash e to the power 0 because here t is 0 so the value of c dash we get is v by r hence the equation one become the current value the current value okay output that is the output current it value is i is equal to v by r e to the power minus r by l t and the output response is this is the in the y axis you take current in the x axis you take time this is the steady value this is the steady value that is v by r so the response output response is exponentially decaying from this equation it is very clear that the output response is exponentially decaying next you find in this instant what is the voltage across the resistor which is i into r which gives from this equation you get v e to the power minus r by lt and across inductor it is l di by dt which gives minus v e to the power minus r by l t similarly in the uh, case of charging here also you may find the in this instant how much power is consumed by resistor and how much power across the inductor clear students so in this study students you have learned what is transient response analysis what is transient response what is steady state response and why this response is achieved by the circuit then charging and discharging response of rl series circuit when dc excitation is given and it is thrown 